Uh, hello. Uh, so in this talk, uh, we will discuss our efforts um, to compare and assess performance of uh, different scheduler systems for uh, AI workloads. My name is Dmitry. I work at NVIDIA. Um, I contribute to open source, and I'm also maintainer of two open source projects, Navigator and Topograph. Uh, Kubernetes is a popular choice for managing AI workloads, and uh, it um, offers a number of solutions for um, job management. We wanted to compare the solutions across different workload types uh, to find the best fit, and most important, to do it before we deploy it in uh, real clusters. For that reason, we developed a uh, node resource exporter which um, assess the resource usage. And uh, it can work with any custom Kubernetes uh, resource, but we specifically wanted to use it for um, to calculate uh, GPU occupancy in the cluster. Uh, this is our experimental setup. Uh, we, we are using a lightweight kind Kubernetes cluster. Uh, we deployed Quark to uh, simulate uh, GPU nodes. We deployed a workload manager that we are testing, and we deployed Navigator. Navigator is an open source tool developed uh, at NVIDIA that allows users to uh, create, uh, submit, monitor, and control different testing scenarios. And finally, uh, we deployed uh, Prometheus node, node Research Exporter and uh, Grafana to collect and uh, display metrics. Uh, before I share the results, uh, a quick note. Um, the numbers that you will see do not represent ultimate um, efficiency of schedulers. Uh, the GPU occupancy depends on many factors, such as workload distribution and um, uh, submission rate. And also, every scheduler can be configured in many ways, so that also could um, affect the result. I also um, I should uh, apologize that uh, I submitted updated uh, results later, so they not incorporated in this show. Uh, but this is, um, this is the um, GPU occupancy for a multi-node job uh, scenario. We deployed cluster with 32 GPU nodes and uh, submitted workload consisting of 53 jobs with number of uh, replicas ranging from 1 to 32. Under optimal uh, conditions, this workload should fully uh, utilize uh, GPU uh, capacity of the clusters. And for this particular workload, uh, you can see the numbers uh, ranging from uh, 98 to 87. And I, I wanted to include also the um, recent uh, um, measurement that I got from uh, testing run AI cluster, and uh, its number was uh, 90, 96%. Uh, for, for this uh, scenario, we, we tested uh, this, uh, this um, scheduling system for a scaling uh, use case. So we deployed cluster with 700 GPU nodes, and we submitted 700 single node jobs. Uh, so you can see that uh, the initial ramp up could be attributed to a scheduler submitting pods sequentially one by one. Um, the node resource exporter could be beneficial uh, for selecting the right uh, scheduler for your needs. Um, it can be also, it can be used for fine-tuning your scheduler settings or configuration, and it could provide additional insights uh, to your uh, system. It also can work with uh, real and simulated um, environments. For uh, limitation, I would say that, uh, I think the main limitation is that it relies on Kubernetes API rather than actual uh, GPU uh, measurements, which might not be applicable for every use case. Um, that's all for this talk. We always welcome feedback and uh, contribution. Um, 
this is uh, a list of references that I used for this talk, and thank you. Thank you.